Hi guys, Camilla here and welcome to my YouTube channel and blog. Today I have for you a haul video. Uh, these are stuff that I purchased for the last few months, so it's not just from this month. Uh, it's gonna be uh, uh, quite a long one, so let me just put the things on the side and, and start uh, showing you what I got. So let me start with the stress inks. It's oxide inks. I love these. These are my favorite inks of all times. I love how creamy they are and I love the formula. I love how um, when you dry each layer and you put another on top, it doesn't matter if it's blue or red with red or green with red, it will not combine. You will see the red, you will see the green. It's just beautiful. So I got a Lucky Clover, Candied Apple, Salty Ocean, Peacock Feathers, Twisted Citron and Wild Honey and I just cannot wait to use this on the project. Uh, you already saw me um, use uh, Lucky Clover on the Halloween project on the little stem of a pumpkin, uh, but more is coming. So these are the Distress Oxide inks. Um, from the same shop I also got the Versafine Smoky Grey uh, ink. It's a pigment ink. Uh, I didn't have any gray in my collection, so that would be nice for inline and online coloring. Um, I thought that was cool. Also from the same shop, I got something really cool, which is this kind of cardboard uh, frame set. You can uh, hang it on the wall. And what I like about it is very sturdy, very thick. And I have a project that I might uh, share <laughs> someday with you guys. It was supposed to be a summer one, but I just never had the time. So I used some paints, which I also purchased uh, from Martha Stewart to color the frames in. It's supposed to be this kind of summery look. Uh, so I used a, a teal, white, and um, a blue, white, and teal. So these are the paints I used. They are by Martha Stewart. Uh, so I used the beach glass surf and wedding cake these are really good paints i love the colors and so i colored these in and i have some elements of uh, you know uh, cardboard texture or some all kinds of um like stickers and stuff so i will combine and i'm gonna definitely share with you the project how, if when it's gonna be complete uh, so that was that i really love and these cardboard frames, you can do whatever you want with them, whether it's a, for a boy or for a girl. And then I got this cool um, album, which I will also be working on. I'm going to quickly show you how it is inside. Sorry for the sound. There isn't so many pages. Uh, actually, it's this way. Sorry. And the cardboard is pretty thick. It's it's a little bendy, so it's not like it's very hard. You can see, but I'm planning to make a little mini album for my son from his uh, first year, and I will definitely share that as well. Then I got some boxes for cards. Uh, from what I can see, it the size is bigger than standard card, uh, so they might move around but uh, I still love it. I got it in cream and craft and I also got a layered brick stencil that will be fun for backgrounds uh, using some kind of um, embossing paste and it's also from the same company as the cardboard um, uh, pieces that I just showed you and then I got these really 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 cool uh, chipboard uh, stickers or not really stickers it's just like a wood veneer kind of things and it's also a uh, Polish company look how cute look how cute are these I mean just adding a little bit of uh, yellow I was thinking with uh, distress inks distress oxide inks or or just regular ones I guess you can do that too uh, here as well look at those they're gonna look so cool and I love that uh, the fact that they're not really that thick uh, like wood veneer is usually uh, pretty thick, but these are really like soft and bendable, so they would be perfect for a card. And <laughs> this one is my favorite. Look at those pumpkins, they're just amazing! I mean, seriously, and I love the hats too. There's another one there. Oh, there you go. So, those 
were from Fifi Rifi. Then I got, uh, oh, actually I got this one there too. This is Cosmic Shimmer Sparkle Texture Paste in um, uh, 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 colors by Phil Martin and it's Graceful Mint. Oh, just so beautiful. I love it and I cannot wait to use it for some Christmas projects. Then from another shop, I think this was Craft Stash. I got these beautiful Tonic Nouveau Glimmer Paste. And I just love them and I know I'm going to get more. It's just, I have to. <laughs> these are three colors that I chose for my Christmas cards, Christmas projects. They're just gorgeous. And the white one, if you're thinking about getting one, but you can't decide, like I couldn't. It was really good, they were on sale. I think I bought them in August. Just get the white one, because it goes uh, with everything. And also you can create, you can add it through a stencil, or just create stencil yourself, add like a, a snow hill, and just cover it with this paste, and it will dry so sparkly and raised. Just beautiful. So these three, and I love the packaging, I mean, look at that. It's like a jar of some delicious jam. <laughs> uh, okay, then um, these clear squares from Dove Craft, it's the uh, English company. These are a clear um, adhesive squares, a double sided, and now they're also 3D. So that's something new for me to use. I'm looking forward to trying these. And I also got a Wow Glow in the Dark uh, embossing powder. And then my birthday mini haul. <laughs> oh god, I ordered from Seven Hills Craft, my favorite, favorite, favorite shop, online shop in uh, Europe. Thank you so much to my husband who, and his parents, who, uh, and my parents actually, who's, um, you know, uh, sponsored it. <laughs> and I got these deliciously colored <laughs> lawn fawn inks. I was really after the lobster and peacock and then yeah sugar plum is beautiful too. And then walnuts always to good have a brown. So I didn't try these out yet but stay tuned. For a long time I wanted to get this one. It's so cute. You know it's an older one but still amazing. And then finally they had this one in stock. I cannot wait to make like little uh, but collages or um, you know you've seen uh, Jennifer Maguire's uh, videos I cannot wait to like just stamp those in a some kind of pattern and leave a white area for just a big sentiment for a Christmas card I hope it's just so beautiful and and now I have the lobster ink the red will never be the same just gorgeous then I got this stamp set I got some stamps from the new release, but I, I just for some reason I did not order this one and I so regretted it since, so I had to get it. I love the houses and I have so many ideas for these pop-up cards and oh, this is just gonna, I cannot wait to use them. And I have this like a mini stamp where there's a bigger lantern, so I want to do this kind of uh, small lantern in the back, bigger in the front, some critters and you'll see, you'll see that there's uh, 10 days of Christmas. Uh, card series coming soon as well and then I got this Sugar Pea Designs beautiful stamp set it's called um, Seasons Greetings oh by the way this one is called Winter Village so Seasons Greetings and look at those gorgeous um, sentiments I just I love this type of uh, sentiments I just I think I have two more the similar style, one from Little Inker's Design and one from Mama Elephant from last year. So of course I had to get this one too. I cannot stop looking at it, it's so beautiful. So I hope you like it too, maybe I give you some ideas with that. And then I got this die, Winter uh, Village Border, sorry, and it cuts out this beautiful uh, like a line of houses with some uh, trees you can create here and this is like a element to pop up and uh, the whole thing and you can put some yellow cardstock at the back and then it will look like the lights in a house are lit which I really love and then there's the paper that I think it's gonna it's my favorite ever I just love um, uh, I just love uh, like old-school retro 
designs so this was this really caught my eye and I couldn't stop thinking about it I was really scared that they're gonna be sold out but I was lucky enough and uh, so it's called a very Merry Christmas um, by Stephen Duncan and it's Carta Bella and it's a double-sided paper so I'm gonna walk through you through it this is my favorite one mostly because of those cute cars and the people with Christmas trees and it's just like so festive I love it so much and then there's some dots then there's this one, Santa, all tangled up with the cute reindeer. Then there's the lines, baubles, really beautiful and old school. Kind of similar to that um, stamps and from last year by Avery L. Retro ornaments. And some polka dots, some snowflakes. And you can see they're kind of dimmed on the edges. <laughs> it's good and bad because if you want to just use a part of it, so uh, just one side will be dimmed <laughs> I guess you can just cut in the middle but then you know what the dilemma is just the red one there's some cool st like uh, tags here or... oh really cool really cool I love it <laughs> beautiful you can see there you go some beautiful pattern as you can see these are like little I don't know how well you can see on the camera, but there's like little swirls and uh, stars, Christmas trees, reindeer and different dates. I like that it just doesn't say just 25th because uh, here in Europe or in Poland or in Denmark we celebrate on the 24th. So you know, <laughs> all those ornaments or decorations that say 25th is kind of like, eh, not for us. <laughs> I mean, we celebrate 25th too, but it's the, the Christmas Eve is when we give presents and have a family over and so on. It's just the green one. These are the baubles. Mistletoe. Uh, no, holly, sorry. Holly. Just the numbers with some cool images. Oh, this is beautiful. I love it. I wish I had this type of pattern, uh, like a packing paper for my gifts, because that would be so cool and retro. And Santa, Santa's list. Candy. Ooh, another one. Oh, so beautiful. And then some stars, some bigger snowflakes, and some just writing. And then it repeats. So that's that. And of course I forgot a few other items that I got that I really wanted to share with you. This is from the same shop, the Fifi Riffy. Oh my god, it's by Marianne Design and it's this beautiful mandala stamp. I did not use it yet, but I cannot wait to try it. It's uh, pretty big, in fact I can tell you how big it is. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. It is about 11 centimeters to 11 centimeters and so uh, that would be four and a quarter inch to four and a quarter inch stamp. It's pretty big so it would be fun to color or even emboss it and then watercolor. Uh, I'm looking forward to playing with that. I'm pretty sure it will be really beautiful for in gold and some uh, lovely watercolor for Christmas. And then I completely forgot about these that I also purchased. Had to have it. <laughs> the cloud uh, stencil from my favorite things. And it is called Mini Cloud Edges. So it's the Mini Cloud Edges one. I really love it. I think. This is going to be perfect because I have been uh, die cutting my uh, thick uh, piece of cardstock and using it that way. So this is just a, it's a great move from them. It's a really great idea. So thank you, my favorite things. And uh, so that was from Seven Hills Craft as well, but uh, ordered before the one I showed you. And as well, this one. I love this stamp set. I have lo been loving it for so long. It's called Admit One. And I think it might be going out of, uh, uh, I think they might be removing it soon or something because it was on, on sale. And 
I just uh, I always look at it and I always want it and I know I have a few great ideas I saw a really cool idea where the lights were here so you know my idea was uh, also to take it a step further and make that wheel go round so you know every now and then it would light up but that's kind of complicated so I'll work on that love it and then uh, one of the uh, really cool shops uh, my mom's uh, craft store I think they were closing down so I got these two uh, cheaper I was looking forward to getting this for so long I love these monsters uh, this one is called uh, 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 Monster Jam really cute really cute and then the W plus 9 um, uh, friends for all seasons with those cute doggies and to be honest you know the images you can use for any season uh, not just summer so I was really happy to get this and I really want to get the one with pandas as well so these are uh, those and then I completely forgot that I finally made a purchase from Paper Tree Ink. I love their design so much and it, it hurts my heart so much that, that I can't order uh, from them often because they are in the US so I'm always afraid that I'm gonna uh, pay the big uh, you know border tax but this time this is an older die set and stamp set but I couldn't <laughs> resist I had to have it so I was in Poland over the summer and I I thought okay I'll try I'll try because once I ordered it to Denmark and it came and, and the cost of the border tax was more than I paid for all this together plus shipping so I just I couldn't I couldn't do it because at the time I didn't I didn't have so much money so uh, it was it really bummed me down but now I have it and I'm super happy and I love look at these look at these cute images I just I love the style it's kind of this retro uh, retro style and you have all these cute images of, of a trailer and a car and surfboard and all the sentiments are just so cool and you can build your own trailer and you know you add the card it's just I ah, can't wait to play with these so I'm sure I'm gonna make a video I wish I made one in the summer it would be more appropriate but I guess we can uh, make a camping one for like a early fall and uh, by saying this I'm looking outside of my window and it's raining so much and it's yuck <laughs> so I'll be making a lot of cards lots of videos for you guys Thank you so much for watching once again and I'll catch you again soon with a new card making video. Bye!